The president today told Turkey's president he'd agree to the creation of a security zone in northern Syria. That is home to U.S.-backed Kurdish fighters. They have beaten back ISIS insurgents, but now potentially face a new enemy if the U.S. pulls out. Our Charlie Daggett is with them inside Syria tonight. We cross the border from Iraq over the Tigris River into the part of Syria U.S. troops will soon be leaving. We're traveling through a part of northern Syria, which is under the control of America's allies on the ground. But ISIS used to hold large stretches of territory here, and it could be a contested area once again when American forces pull out. Those allies are the Syrian Democratic Forces, a Kurdish-led militia whose partnership with U.S. troops here has enraged Turkey, which accuses the force of having links to terrorists on Turkish soil. The Turks have vowed to step up attacks against the SDF, while President Trump is threatened to devastate Turkey economically if it does. Is that enough of an insurance policy for you? Of course it's not enough, SDF spokesman Nori Mahmoud told us. Do you disagree with President Trump that ISIS is defeated? No. Yes, ISIS still exists, he said, and we must work even more to eliminate it because ISIS is not just a military force, it's an extremist mentality that doesn't believe in the existence of anyone but themselves. The American force of roughly 2,000 troops has not only supported local fighters on the ground with equipment and weapons, crucially it directs the might of U.S. air power against ISIS targets. Jets providing vital aerial surveillance and wave after wave of devastating attacks. Tonight, forces here are still on the offensive against ISIS holdouts, and they're facing fierce resistance. One senior security source told us he expects the fighting to continue for another two months. Jeff? Charlie Daggett inside Syria tonight. Charlie, thank you.